Hey guys, I just completed the Whole30 eating plan, which is 30 days of eating only whole foods, which includes no wheat, no beans, no milk, no alcohol, and then you can have as much uh, fruit, vegetables, and nuts, and meats as you want. If you want more information about the Whole30, just go to their website. I'll put a little link here and down below. I'm going to show you how you can make some Mexican food on this diet. Of course, you can't have you know the tortilla chips or the uh, taco shells or even the burrito wrap because they're all grain products. So what we're going to do is we're going to use acorn squash instead. And then I'm going to show you how to make a meat filling for that. So let's get started with the ingredients. Okay, for our, our little Mexican cuisine meal, we uh, have the acorn squash. Okay, I got some garlic and some onions. Um, here's some nice plum tomatoes from our garden along with some uh, banana peppers from our garden. We're gonna use some chili powder and some ground cumin. And I'm gonna use some uh, ground pork today. Now you could use ground turkey, you could use uh, ground beef. I just happen to have some uh, pork. So I'm gonna show you how to cut this all up and get it started. First thing we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to get this acorn squash in the oven and ready to go. So I'm just gonna cut these in half and we're gonna scoop out all the seeds. Now on the side here, we have a casserole dish that is filled about a quarter full with water. So you're just gonna take this squash and we're gonna just lay it down like that. So we're gonna get all four of these ready really quick. And then once we get these um, done, we're gonna pop them in the oven at 400 degrees and they're gonna to have to cook for about a half hour to 45 minutes. So you wanna get this done first thing so that you're ready to go. Just one more left to go. All right, now these are ready to go into the oven. Now that we have the acorn squash in the oven, we're gonna work on the meat fill. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it on our burner to medium heat. Throw a little olive oil in there. Good, we're gonna chop uh, some onions and some garlic and put it in there. You know, one of the important things about cooking, I think, is having good uh, knife skills. The faster you can chop things up, that really speeds up the time that you can get stuff done. So we're gonna just chop these onions up really quick. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna heat these up until they're translucent. Do not burn, you don't wanna burn them. And then we're gonna put in our green peppers. Okay, we got our onions in. Now let's chop up our garlic. You know, garlic always makes something taste a lot better, doesn't it? So that was one whole onion, three cloves of garlic, it's about the right number. So we have that in there. Let's stir them up a little bit so we can get some olive oil mixed around in the pan. Now we're gonna go into the bell peppers that I showed you from the garden. Oh man, I really like these uh, bell peppers, uh, or I mean, sorry, banana peppers from the garden. And we're just gonna chop these up really quick. Now when you do these, you do a few slices. Then we just gonna chop it a little bit this way. Okay, now we got the green peppers done. We're just gonna put them into our pan. Stir them up. Then we're gonna just let these kind of saute for about three minutes. Now that the onion, garlic, and pepper is sauteed enough, we're gonna throw the ground uh, pork in. This is a pound of ground pork. Now one thing I really like about this recipe is we're doing it today with the acorn uh, squash, uh, but once you're done with it, this also, this filling works great on top of a salad. It also works great in omelets. So, you know, you're gonna to wanna to make more than just one pound worth. I would say double or triple the batch, and you use it for all kinds of stuff. You know, don't waste the time you, uh, that you are in front of the, the oven and make more stuff. 
Now we're just going to brown this meat. And now we're going to add the spices. Here's the chili powder. And uh, I'm going to use one tablespoon. Uh, some, you know, if you like it a little spicier, you can do two tablespoons. I usually use one tablespoon because my wife, she doesn't like really spicy food. So I usually uh, go really light on the spices. And then when I actually eat it, I like to use a little bit of hot sauce to spice it up for me. Um, also, we have the ground cumin. Now this, this ground cumin smells really good because we actually had um, fresh cumin that we just ground. So it's really incredibly fresh. You can really smell it. It smells good. This is three table, or this is three teaspoons of cumin. So we have one tablespoon of the chili powder, and we have three teaspoons of the ground cumin. Now we're just going to brown this meat up. The meat is now browned. So at this point, I, I like to season it with a little bit of salt. You know, just to taste. And then a little bit of pepper. Then we're going to add our tomatoes. And wow, you can really see. The thing I love about this recipe is all the colors. You know, you got the, the meat, the brown from the meat, the kind of translucent um, light color from the onions and the garlic. And then you have the red tomatoes and the green peppers. Okay, now our meat fill is pretty much done. So I'm just gonna take it off the burner. And then we're just gonna wait for the acorn squash to be done in the oven. And I'm sh I'll show you in a second how you know when the acorn squash is done. All right, now it's time to get out the acorn squash. So we're just gonna pull it out of the oven. And I'm gonna bring you in a little closer so that you guys can see how to tell if it's done. All right, telling if it's done is really simple. You just kind of go like this and you push on it. Okay, and if it feels really soft, and sometimes it will even kind of collapse in a little bit, then you know they're done. So these guys are definitely done. Now let's get it plated up. And you just take some of the filling center. Oh man, this is really going to be good. And there you have it. Your Mexican style acorn squash. I hope you enjoyed this video on Mexican style filled acorn squash. And don't forget to check out that website which is the whole 30 Com. It's a great program. I saw great success in the 30 days that I did it. And also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you share it with your friends, like it, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you in the next video.